Hey, this is Passy from Passy's World of ICT, the guy with the white hat, which isn't coming off today because we've got messy hair. And my how time flies when you're having fun. We made that left hand animation there of the clock uh, back in a previous tutorial. So you can uh, have a look at that one. And wouldn't it be nice if we could take that clock and use it in another project as shown on the right. So the clock was ticking on the wall. Uh, for part of one scene maybe in an animated story we're making so yeah a little um, miss emoji there is asleep and she's sleeping a really long time because a friend of hers told her if you get yourself enough beauty sleep when you wake up you'll be as beautiful as Kim Kardashian wow she's gonna get some sort of surprise when she does wake up eventually all right so that's what we want to do we want to take our FLA project that clock there that's spinning around on the yellow background we want to get it into a movie clip and then we can use that movie clip in a totally separate project that we're doing so let's get into animate and get started so we've just opened up our clock project here that we did previously so if you haven't got that uh, you might have another example of something you want to turn into a movie clip or you could do our clock project and have that one all right so that's just staying there for now and let me just check that yep that's all good so that's staying there and we need to go file new uh, action script 3 to actually start up another project so here's another project now for this project what we did was you went to um clicker.com c-l-k-e-r.com and they have great free clip art so we got this one of this um this bedroom image here okay but we didn't kind of like that plug there with the air conditioner all right so we've taken it into photoshop i will show you actually how to do that so let's just go file uh open and see if we can find this that's our clicker room original picture so let's open that up and let's lose the magnifying glass to zoom in here as well might as well learn a bit of photoshop while we're at it so underneath the hand symbol there's the magnifying glass the left hand side so we just click it to zoom in now if you go too far you can hold down the alt key and click to go backwards if you want to see a picture as it was in Photoshop, you just go view and fit on screen. So we assume you've got the creative collection. So you've got animate CC and you've got Photoshop CC. So yeah, you might as well use both of them together. All right. Now what we're going to do here is we want to take away that power cord thing because that doesn't look good. And that's actually where our clock's going to go as well. So third tool down are the lasso tools. Now there's the normal lasso and the polygon lasso and the magnetic. We want to use this middle one, the polygon that lets you draw straight lines. So we get that one. Now we need to carefully get on the edge of this and just click once and let go of the mouse and see how it's making a line. And then you click again following that edge and let go. And we're just moving it now without our finger on the button or anything. And we're just going to click over here and then we're going to click up here. We're going to click across here. Then we need to carefully come down and double click there. And we went too far, so do Control Z or Control Z. And that'll bring us back with that area selected. Now, the reason we're selecting that area is to confine it because next we want to get on the rubber stamp clone tool down here a uh, couple underneath the band-aid a couple of tools down two tools down from the band-aid the clone stamp make sure up the top opacity set to 100 percent flows 100 percent and um make sure you, yep that's okay and what's our size oh we're using kind of a fuzzy rubber stamp here and our size is 61 which i think will be okay now the idea is that you hold down the alt key and then you can click in here to dip this color. And then you just click all over this area. Now, because we've lassoed it and confined it, when we get near the edge here, it's not gonna smudge into the air conditioner, okay? Because what we've done is we've used the lasso tool. So even if we go up here, it won't click outside that box we've drawn, except I've just cloned the light accidentally into there and the picture. So let's just go that. But see, while we're doing this, it won't mess up that light there. It'll confine everything to inside this, um, what shape is that? It's a four-sided shape, which in maths I think is called a quadrilateral. 
Anyway, that's all done. So when it's done, we press Control D, Control and D to deselect. And then we need to go up the top here to view, onto view, and we'll just go fit on screen. And that's okay, that's done. Now we also off the internet got this smiley face that was asleep. And we cut that out with the snipping tool, I think. And let's see, let's go new here. So this sort of thing to get these. Now, because this is for educational purposes and there's no money being made off this, there's no sort of copyright issues or anything like that. But if this was an animation you were gonna sell or using some product you were selling, uh, you couldn't do all this uh, like we're doing here. I think you'd have to get proper images and make sure they're paid for and royalty free if they need to be. Uh, so we go file and new and then make sure color mode is on RGB color because we've noticed Photoshop seems to like changing it to grayscale here. It needs to be on RGB color. Um, the snipping tool has told Photoshop when we copied into memory how big this is. So we just go create and then we go edit paste and we paste that in and then we need to go to our one two three fourth tool down magic wand click in there press delete click in there press delete just where all these checkered flags are press delete because they're not actually the checkered flags we want when you're finished doing that control d on the layers over here this background layer click on that we don't want that that's the one that's making all the white in the background so go to the rubbish the trash can, the trash bin down here and trash it in the bottom right hand corner. Just say yes, we want to delete that. And that'll give us our transparent background. Then we can just save that. Make sure you're saving it as a PNG file for the type. So save as type, make sure that's on PNG. And you can call that, we called it sleeping head and uh, that was done. Okay, so, uh, whoops, sorry. Next, go back on these tabs here, we've got our room where we got rid of that awful power clock just get back on that top tool in photoshop the select tool now we need to go file place embedded so we go file place embedded we find our sleepy head and put that in now it's way too big so they've given us a scaling tool already hold down the shift key so it's all proportional and if you kind of get that smaller and put it into place you can get it how you like it like that and all right enough of that rubbish uh and then that's there place that and uh then you can save that and that's going to be your image so in this new project we made in animate this first layer here double click in it that's going to be our background so we're just calling that the background here or we could call that the background room if you like and we just go file import and import to stage find that room with the emoji sleeping that you've saved and it's way too big you can see these lines here are telling us how big the um, animate area is so if we go on the third tool down the scale tool we can go up the top left hand corner and start pulling that in with our finger held on the shift key now as we're pulling in it's pulling in from the middle which is kind of painful a little trick is take this up and put it in the top left hand corner like that then see this white dot that's in the middle move that's kind of like the center of reference move that up to the corner here then you can just pull from this corner and it's not going to jump around and keep trying to center and stuff like that so we can get that all nicely framed and that's ready to go as our background now going back to the clock we need to somehow get this clock over into here on the wall onto the wall and we need it ticking so let's just make a new layer down the bottom left hand corner of this project and we'll call that one clock now you might be thinking oh well maybe we could take all of the layers from the other project here and we could get we could hold down shift i think and highlight all of them and can't we just copy those over into this project so we're getting between the projects by using these two tabs up the left hand corner if you didn't realize that already uh, no we can't actually do it that way but what we need to do is make this into a movie clip that's inside the library if we click on the library tab here we've got our big hand our clock clear and our small hand the components of this animation but 
what we need to do is make a movie clip version of this. This is the FLA FLAR file. We need to make a movie clip. So you just go insert and you go new symbol up the top, insert new symbol. And we want this symbol to be a movie clip. And this is going to be our clock. And usually in uh, animate and the old flash as it used to be called, we just put clock MC. So we know this is the movie clip version of the clock. Okay. Now that's going to actually take us down inside the movie clip and there's nothing there at the moment. So you can see up the top left hand corner, it's got clock MC. We're down inside that movie clip symbol we're trying to make and scene one's back up here. So just click back up into scene one. So we've got scene one here. What we can actually do though is we can copy the layers from this scene into the movie clip. All right. So what we do is we are... Uh, just hold down shift where the layers are here and click on all three of them. So we've got all of the layers. OK, and then we right click and we go to copy layers. So it's right click copy layers. So we hold down shift to select them all and copy layers. All right. Now over in your library, make sure you're on the library tab and not the properties. See where there's this clock MC. That's the empty movie clip that we've made. So if you go to the movie clip symbol here on the left hand side and double click, that'll take you down inside the movie clip. And what we do is we right click where layer one is there and we say paste layers. And that will paste our whole clock with the big hand, everything down inside this movie clip. Now you're thinking, oh, well, hang on, it's not lining up properly. Well, there's some sliders here. If you move the sliders across and up, uh, we can get that kind of centered and that's in the movie clip and that's going to run inside the movie clip as a clock if we drag the red slider all right so to save that movie clip now that it's all in there you just click in scene one and that takes you back up into the movie so now as well as the clock we've also got the clock mc in the library and you can drag that out and put it on the screen um, do you wish to, oh, actually, no, we better not do that in this project. Sorry. Uh, or maybe we need to go actually a new layer. So let's just make a new layer and call that clock MC. Okay. And as long as we're on that layer, I think we can drag the clock out and put it onto our animation. And with the third tool down the scale tool, uh, make it a lot smaller and then we can have our clock movie clip running here while the big clock runs which is going to be interesting so i'll just press control enter and see what happens there and yeah see how we've got the little clock little clock big clock little clock big clock uh like that now we're still getting very close now believe it or not to getting it into our other project which is over here we want to get it up on the wall there well how you can do it is you can just copy between libraries which is really good now you're thinking, oh, this is really a lot of work and why do we have to do it like this? Yeah, it is kind of crazy. You'd think once we'd made this clock thing, we could go file export and somehow we could export and we could export and make a movie clip, like export this FLA project just into a movie clip that could be saved and somehow you could import that movie clip into the other project with file import. I don't know why they haven't done that in Animate. Um, people have asked for it, so I don't know. Technically, it must be tricky or something, or surely you think by this release of CC 2018, they would have done it. But anyway, no problem. We can go to the library where we've got our clock movie clip. clip. Just right click on that and go copy. OK, then you just go to your new project, go to its library and just in the blank space here in its library, you just go right click and paste. And that will bring your clock movie clip in as well as the other components you need, like your small hand, your big hand and your background for the clock. So that's why copying layers wouldn't work in the other one. Copying layers between projects won't work because it doesn't bring all these things into the library. So you could bring the layers from the other project over into this one, but nothing would run because you did not have the big hand in the library or the clock face or any of the library things. But if you make a movie clip in this project here using your insert, new symbol, right, movie clip, copy the layers from this down inside the movie clip, 
Then you generate a movie clip in the library and this one you can right click and copy, paste into the other one and it brings all of the components in as well. So now we've done a lot of talking there, let's get busy. In the library where we've got that clock movie clip, just drag that out onto the screen here and it's horrendously big and it's hiding between everything. Ah, now this is an interesting thing. Uh, students do this all the time. They go, what happened to my animation? It's just skinny little sticks and I can't see anything. Uh, you need to go down to your layers here and there's kind of this outline view where you can just show the layers as outlines if you've got a really complicated project. You've got to make sure that's a solid color. See how it's an open rectangle here if you look closely? Click back in that and then we'll be okay, all right? So it was kind of in outline mode and it was good we showed you that because that's a common problem that students have. Uh, now the next uh, little trick is to just shrink this person and move this clock. It's not a person, it's a clock. A person sleeping, the clock's on the wall. Um, yeah, so with the third tool down, the scale tool, we can do all that. And now that clock should tick if we press control and enter on this clip. So control and enter. And there we go. We've got a little emoji. She's fast asleep and she's sleeping for a really, really long time. And actually, that's what I need to do because it's been a really long day and I'm making this video a bit late at night. Uh, now, what else did we need to show you? One more thing. Uh, so we've done how to convert an FLA into a movie clip. Then you can just copy that movie clip from its library into the library of any other project and use that little movie clip. Uh, now, what else we needed to show you was that uh, give our friends at Guided Computer Tutorials uh, a plug. So Guided Computer Tutorials, we use this Animate CC course, Module 1. And it's a great course if you're just beginning Flash and Flash or Animate, but Animate in this case, a new version of Flash. So if you go to Guided Computer Tutorials, we'll have tutorials available. Just go to Animate and Flash and go to Animate CC. And that will take you to this page right here. And you can see, like, it's $15 uh, to buy Module 1, which, like, if you're in the America, that's only going to cost you, like, about less than $10 US. And I think you get... Uh, 12 chapters and of lessons and this one chapter 7 shows you how to make a clock that doesn't spin round um, see how ours just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning if you want to make a clock that only sort of spins and does sort of from one o'clock spins round and stops at four o'clock uh, chapter 7 in that Guided Computer Tutorials course will show you how to do that. So thanks for watching and have fun with Adobe Animate. And we hope this has been useful and going to help you out in a lot of your uh, animation projects. Okay, so we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel. We put out a video uh, every weekend. We're putting out a video um, on animate or other sorts of things that we do okay so subscribe and then you won't miss any of the updates all right great thank you